Hey everybody, I was wanting to make a video about the Oklahoma tornadoes again. I just, I think it's a tragedy. And, uh, God bless the families out there. I hope that they are healing with their losses, uh, family members, property. Uh, just God bless them. Let's pray for them. I feel so bad for them. But, uh, this video mainly was about the failure of the state of Oklahoma in certain areas especially around Oklahoma City how they have not better prepared themselves for these situations uh, I think it would have been a big victory if Moore and El Reno would have uh, had no deaths in F5s and E4s whatever you want to call them <laughs> It's uh, ridiculous that we haven't got it right. Uh, what I'm calling for, I'm an Oklahoman, so what I'm calling for is a major action where communities can have underground shelters. Uh, and especially in the schools. I don't understand <clears throat> why they didn't have underground shelters in the schools and more. They had one of these happen in 1999. And... Uh, it's also a failure that the weather service can't just have access to everybody everybody in a certain area like when you register your phone you have a address you put down or a general area you'll be in that way they can just send you a text to tell you that there is a large tornado on the ground and instead of like people in El Reno who are terrified because the, just the, imagine an F5 tornado winds I think above what 210 miles per hour I mean you really don't have a chance of surviving in your bathtub and God bless those weathermen too from Colorado I heard one of them was sucked out of the car and the mother and her baby I just and the seven kids in the school it's just a terrible man I feel so much for these people I just I mean I can't imagine I can because actually when I was going to Colorado I was caught in the storms in the panhandle and obviously I guess there were microbursts or something uh, but like the winds were real bad man I've, I've never been in the panhandle during a storm and it was crazy as hell I thought that a tornado was about to lift my car in the air man I, I guess we had like winds I'm gonna guesstimate about 70 to 80 miles per hour tumbleweeds were flying by like flies on shit man it was freaking crazy and they were hitting my I, I was like thinking that a tumbleweed was going to crash through my win, window and I should have pulled my camera out and uh, started filming but it was just kind of it was just really kind of I'm not saying scary because when it started happening, I guess it was scary because I started, I just thought Jesus. And I was like, alright, you know, if it happens, it happens. I'm putting my faith in Jesus and it just calmed me through that storm. And it was, it was, it was a unique experience and I didn't want to pull my camera out. But we, and then a semi like started driving down the road and I, it kind of let up, you know, when it let up, and I followed him, and we got probably, like, not less than a mile, and it looked like a uh, rig had jackknifed in the middle of the road, and we kind of just, like, swerved right around him, but it was definitely an experience, and uh, I think definitely that's what we need in Oklahoma for communities is uh, underground shelters, like, in communities. That way... If there's an F5, an F4, you know, the Weather Service having this access to phones in a general area can alert the people. There's enough technology to do that. And then instead of getting in their cars and driving off in fear of this great monster of death, and, you know, and they drive into it, they can just run to their neighborhood underground tornado shelter. And I, I believe that the school should... You know, I mean, they they should pay those families of the kids who were injured and uh, and died in that that school. And I'm not trying to stir up an issue 
But I just believe that the school systems in that area are going to be liable and responsible for kids' safeties during tornadoes. Dur during that tornado, before it hit, I was just thinking for some reason, you know, like a snow day. And I was like, why would I want to be in school today, you know, when they're saying that there's going to be just tornadoes, man. And it's like... I don't know, schools definitely have to get shelters and it would be a very good idea just to put large tornado shelters in communities too, that way they're, they're not driving, but there's enough technology to uh, stop these terrible, terrible scenes of mother mother nature taking life and destroying people's property is just terrible and uh that's what my video was about because i definitely had to speak my mind about it i lived here long enough and i can't imagine what those people actually went through when i was in my car it was it wasn't really scary or anything like i said because i was just like this is it this is it i'm putting my faith in jesus that's how it was and uh but i can't imagine really like even being there at that point being lifted in my car like say 600 feet before some other debris knocks my freaking window out and I get sucked out, you know, I mean, I can't imagine that, and still holding on to that peace that I got from Jesus, but uh, God bless those families that have lost one, uh, loved ones in this storm, and uh, let's pray for more El Reno now, Kearney, Shawnee, Bethel Heights, the Oklahoma City area, and other you know, areas I haven't even heard about, probably like in Texas and Alabama and Mississippi and Missouri and Kansas. And let's just pray for the families, man. It's been a rough weather season this year for us anyway. It was last year for Joplin and uh, I believe Tuscaloosa. But that's what I'm calling for is uh, tornado shelters, man, because they're just important. You know what I'm saying? I work in Colorado Springs one day for a company and I just when I was working for them, that's what I thought I was like man every house should have a tornado shelter or a basement I mean I, I just think it'll produce more jobs too in a way so that there's another benefit of it and plus there ain't nothing wrong in keeping people safe you know if they feel like they gotta go to one they gotta go to one uh, unless they got one in their house. I heard like the Jim Giles safe rooms, you know, I heard, I heard through Grapevine that they, they weren't even safe like in the F5, so it's just better to have a like a underground basement concreted with escape hatches for these kind of situations where you're going to face a monster, man, I'm telling you, that's what they are, and uh, it might cost an extra fifty thousand dollars, but if you live in Oklahoma, it'd be worth it. It'd be worth the safety, just like it'd be worth the safety of it anywhere, just in case anything happens. I don't know. Anyway, everybody, I'm out. Peace.